how states organize their cybersecurity capabilities, what it means for European cyber resilience, and why the current conflict in Ukraine might change that. National cyber strategies and institutional setups are very different still. And within countries, we are looking at a very balkanized field, both uh, strategically and institutionally. And I'm looking forward to discuss how to fix that and whether the current conflict could be a window of opportunity or a missed chance. Welcome to talk.cybercni.fr. <clears throat> Welcome to the 18th edition of Talk Cyber CNI, your monthly cybersecurity speaker series. Uh, today, uh, we had planned a special edition on the uh, very up to date topic institutionalizing cybersecurity, national strategies, and their implications for Europe. Unluckily, our speaker he, uh, caught COVID and uh, therefore Moritz cannot participate today. Um, we wish him in on, on that way all the best already um, for the next, uh, for the, for recovering. And uh, we are, we will be uh, replanning, uh, we'll be postponing. I cannot um, promise that it will already be next week, um, but uh, we'll do the addition a little bit later. It's especially a pity also because we had planned a uh, panel with uh, Carl Dennis, who was already in the previous edition, so talk service in I slash nine, I guess, was his edition, and uh, Julien Ossetti, who will be the speaker in the next edition, so in the 19th. And uh, yeah, so uh, sorry that we cannot run today, but without our keynote speaker, it's uh, obviously uh, a little bit difficult. Nevertheless, I want to use um, the time to uh, briefly introduce to you the topic of uh, the next week. So next, uh, in two weeks, on the 25th, so on the 25th, we'll have uh, Julien Nossetti. He's from the Military Academy Saint-Cyr, and he's also from the Rand School of Business, and he's also uh, running the Chair Governance um, of Cybersecurity Risks um, in France here. And uh, Julien will talk about cyber-related threats and geopolitics, upgrading the level playing expertise and uh, the announcement will get online uh, right after today's um, presentation. So after now, I will, uh, or I, I can also read to you the, the abstract. So the abstract is our increasingly digital and interconnected societies inevitably result in a heightened risk of major cyber crisis, be it from steady non-destructive attacks or from systemic contamination. The varying forms and severity of cyber threats continue to grow with computer attacks generally based around four main objectives, espionage, illegal trafficking, which is also cybercrime, sabotage and destabilization or information manipulations. However, geopolitics is not always a risk which is taken into account by CISOs and IT managers as they do not necessarily comprehend the whole set of political, cultural, geoeconomics, etc. Peculiarities of the markets in which their companies operate and so on. This talk, so the talk of Julien, will uh, seek to explain the need for integrating a more geopolitical lens into IT cybersecurity strategies, given the depths and global interdependencies of the risks. It will also focus on other, on the actors and stakeholders in the global cyber landscape uh, that we should consider in our risk analysis, threat intelligence assessments. So this will be the talk on the 25th. Maybe we'll do the uh, now talk plan for today before maybe we'll do it afterwards so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing many of you on the 25th and uh, again all the best to moritz for recovering soon and we'll keep you updated over the website uh, when we'll finally run the talk take care everybody have a great weekend and uh, i will show you now the announcement slide of uh, julia and uh, you'll have also have the outro take care and uh, stay informed about cybersecurity. Inform your friends uh, to join, subscribe, and so on. See you soon. Bye bye. Cher Cyber CN, pool d'excellence, région Bretagne. Au revoir et à la
prochaine.